Hi, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, it's going to be quick and easy. It's going to be an oil change. Now I service my bike every two years, a proper service. And what I do is I change oil every single year. Now I've got a brand new Honda monkey bike that I've done 400 and something miles on. And I believe, and this is I believe, 600 miles is the service. Um, and what they recommend is an oil change then. So I'm going to do that because it's quick and simple today around the mileage that I've done. So cue the intro and I'll show you how to change your oil. Okay, all you need is the oil that you need for the bike. Now, in my case, it's only one litre because it's only a little monkey bike. You need a socket set, and obviously you need the right sockets to be able to uh, undo your sump plug. This is a dead simple and easy thing to do, simple instructions. Please, please check your manual to see how much oil your engine will actually take, and you want to look if it's dry, or if it's wet, and what I'm saying by wet and dry is if it's got, if you're taking off your oil, uh, if you're taking off your oil filter and you completely drained it out, there's going to be more oil used than if you haven't replaced your filter because it does hold some oil in the filter. Bear that in mind. Anyway, check the internet, make sure you get the right oil in the right amount, and let's crack on with this. Okay, so all you really need to do to start off with is obviously, as the bike stands, is just warm up the current oil in it because it will come out a lot easier. Just run it for about five minutes, let it get some warmth. It's as simple as that. Okay, so the bike's had about five to ten minutes of running time and basically it feels nice and warm, not too hot that it's obviously roasting. So we need to now give it a couple of minutes just for the oil that's up sort of to drop down into the sump before we crack off the bolt. Um, but it's worth doing that, make sure all the oil gets to the bottom. And it'll be a little bit thinner because it's got hotter, oil gets thinner when it's hot, so it'll pour out a lot, a lot easier as well. So it's so simple, so, so simple. Okay, so under here, just here is the sump bolt. It's normally the one that lies the flattest and the straightest down, just in case you've got two. Now, what you wanna do is just make sure you get the right size socket again. Now this can be quite messy, because you, ideally you undo the bolt, you loosen it, you do the last little bit with your hands and you catch the bolt. If it drops in the oil, just put a pair of gloves on and fish it out. Don't try and fight it. Now it's quite simple again, you just crack this off, just like that. And once you take off the pressure, just use the end of the socket, make sure you've got your bowl in place. Bit fiddly, but what's not fiddly? See, an ideal weld would be, you will then be able to get your fingers in a bit tight on this one and get ready to catch it and then the oil should flow nicely out into your oil catching pan now all I've used is an old washing up bowl because I spend loads of money and that's it now you want to let this flow out nicely and that will take a couple of minutes Right, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna level the bike up by stand it, the bike up level, because obviously this is on its side stand so it doesn't have a centre stand. Just to get that last little bit out. Now try and sort of get the excess oil the best you can cleaned off. Because you don't want all that smoke burning. Don't worry about it too much because obviously it will burn off when the engine gets nice and hot and you're running. Okay. Okay. Now, on each single bolt, you've got a uh, what, like a washer that can normally be like a grommet kind of thing, and it normally crushes up to help with the seal. Now, this bike is new, so I wouldn't change it this time, but I would change it on the next service, every other service. But make sure that it's not completely flattened. And all you've got to do, once you can get your hands in, is pop the bolt in, do it at finger tight. Great advice is, if it does, it feels like it's going tight really early, you've got a risk of cross thread in the bolt. So don't, just tighten up finger tight first. Once you're in finger tight, then you can just use your wrench to tighten it up. So that's finger tight. Now, when it comes down to your torque settings, check your manual, make sure you've got the right torque settings. Use a torque wrench. If you haven't got one, make sure it's tight. Don't stand there yanking at it, just make sure it's nice and tight because you've got a risk if you do that 
of causing damage to the bottom of your sump, especially if you're running an alley sump. Here we go, tighten it up. Just like that. And again, get rid of any excess oil that you can. And that's the oil out. So currently this engine's now got no oil in it. So let's refill it. Okay, so as you can see, that's the used oil and obviously it's dark in colour, it was ready to be changed. Now I was quite lucky because it only takes a litre and thankfully I can order just a litre of oil. Otherwise, the best thing I can do is get the measure that you measure sort of your, your cooking ingredients with, buy one of them and then you can pour in the exact amount by just doing one litre at a time. And if it's 3.8, obviously measure to that, so it's quite simple. But yeah, we're just going to pop this entire can in then and then I'll show you how to make sure you've got the right amount. Okay, so this is the oil filler cap. Now, some of these are also dipstick, so keep an eye on that. Down here, what you've got down here, this is your sight on this bike, and what's the same on most bikes. And obviously, the upper line is, is when the oil's full, and the lower line is when the oil's low. And if you can't see it in there, obviously when the bike's been turned off for a good sort of 10, 15 minutes for the oil to drop down, that's when you check your oil. If that's not, if that's below that line, then obviously it's got nowhere near enough oil on, on it. So it's worth keeping an eye on. I'll show you that in a minute. So we just take the oil filler cap off, just like that. I'm going to use this so I make sure I get all the oil in. And then all I do is pour the oil in. And like I said, this takes the entire lot. Okay, so that's the oil in. And then all you do is obviously make sure your cap is nice and clean pop your cap back in. Again, always do it by your fingers like I'm doing now to make sure that you don't get the wrong angle in your thread it. Okay, so the oil's now in the bike. As I said, I'm lucky because it takes one litre so I can just use a one litre oil can. Anyway, so once you've done that, you again, give it a good few minutes for all that oil that you've put, because it's quite thick, to get down to the bottom of the sump so you can check it. Now, like I said, some of them have a dipstick that you unscrew and you can pull out and check, but most of them have a side glass. So. This is now the oil after a couple of minutes to show you the level it should be at. So under here, you can see here, you're going to get your bike nice and straight and that's perfectly full. And that's what you're looking for, your oil to sit at the top level now. If it's slightly under, that's fine, but just make sure it's not near the lower side. If you need to run your bike for a couple of minutes and recheck, do that. But that is as quick and as easy as it needs to be. Okay, so that is literally how quick and easy an oil change can be. All it really is is taking out a bolt, draining it down and putting the correct amount of oil in and checking it. Something you can do at home. Again, we're stuck at home, so it might save you a few quid. Get your oil sort of posted or if you've got some spare in the garage, happy days. But hopefully you enjoyed watching that. It's another quick and easy how-to guide. Take care. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up if you haven't as well. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.